Hello everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, so uh, I'm back now and I'm going to start off with a translation of Psalm 23 of the prose part of the Paris Psalter. Uh, that is uh, Psalm 24 in today's Bible. Now the prose part is thought to have been translated by King Alfred, that would have happened around about 890 AD. Uh, a copy of the prose part of the Paris Psalter in the West Saxon dialect can be found at the following location, which I will include uh, on the internet, which I will include in the video description below. Okay, now, the text I'm taking from is this one, the West Saxon Psalms, uh, written by James Wilson Bright and Robert Lee Ramsey, um, published in 1907, and as I said earlier, it's freely available on the internet. And the actual text is here. And what I'm going to do is a word-for-word -word type translation so that you can see the difference between modern English and old English and the word order, how it differs. But by doing it that way, that word for word trans translation, you can get a sense of um, how things were said in old English um, and um, how it differs a bit from modern English, certainly in the word order. Okay. All right, so let's make a start then. On thisum the rail. And twenty chothan, Selma, Dawid, Wito Chode, and the Rechte, Mid Hawulkum ye ear nungum, ye Hawulchman hina, Maya alusan, of his ear vathum, and ear he wit Chode, Beka Ristes, see ye fastnesser, Thatha he on her of on us, Asatach, after his arriste. And eak he wit chode be him sulvum, who his elder mena sheldon finian his cumus of his raxida. Okay, so let's start now. That was the introduction. All right. The richness us ear there, and el that heo mid your food is, and el mancuna there thar. On air doth is the richtness. He ye set a tha air than of air thar sa, and of air tham eam, he he ye set other lode. Hoa is thas wur there, that he he a setiche on goddess munt, of the hoa mot setanden on his halchen setoa. He booth thus wore the fair unshath full, booth mid his handum and the kalana on his hairton. Say the ne hawover veth, his mood after eidlum, ye thochtum, and him mid were cum full gath, thake he him on mood cumen. Ne nana ath ne sa were toba sa wicker. His nuch stan. Say the soulch booth, he on verth. Beletsunga, faram godder, and miltzer at the richne halander. Thulich booth that kun, the god sechath, and tha the sechath, thona and wulitan, ear cobes, goddess. Undoth nu ear were yertu, ye el dormen. And on her leadeth, tha echen yerta, for than the ingath se kuning, the god, ye wulderod haveth, and ye werthod, tha ansawardeth that folk and quath. What is this wulder of faster kuning? It is ure halavor, satarang and michtia. Say the have the unworld on your ferte. Ye doth nu elder men, eoweru yertu, and on her leadeth eowere echan yertu. For some thar in a gath se kuning, their god. Ye wulderod haveth, and ye were thod, how at ye say ye wulderod the kuning, it is say wulder faster. Say the God far a wurcheth, so wulch wunder rule. 
Okay, um, another good website I'd like to promote is this one by, I hope I pronounce this correctly, Thijs Park. I, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his Dutch name. Um, he has a great website with a, a lot of resources on Old English, and he has a whole section devoted to the Paris Psalter here, of which I've copied a part. Uh, and he has uh, some images of the original text from about 1050, a version of it from about 1050 AD. Um, just showing here in the original Old English of that time. Okay, um, and, he, and he points out like um, other translations associated with Alfred's educational revival was the prose translation of the fifth, first 50 Psalms in the Parasalta are not entirely literal, they often feature additional interpretations. So you actually find that the Latin text on the left here, um, the Old English text is longer than the Latin um, because King Alfred has added parts to it. Okay, in order to help its interpretation amongst his people of the time. Um, so it's well worth having a look at that uh, website. I'll put that website in the video description below. So please do visit that. It's a great resource. Okay. Um, uh, and then an image, another website with tremendous resources, this is a fantastic website, is a clerk of Oxford blogspot.com. And I'll put that in the uh, video description below as well. So please have a look at that one because there's tremendous resources in, in on that website there. And here's an image from that website, Wells Cathedral, uh, King Alfred. We don't know what he looks like, but it's an image anyway. And finally, I took this myself in Winchester. Uh, this photo I took uh, well, a couple of years back now, about 2018. Um, of the statue near the centre of Winchester. Okay, that's it then.